Welcome back. It's your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express on SABC3. Now, our next guest began his Hollywood career as a writer on the TV show A Different World. He worked on one of my favorite childhood shows, Martin. And he also wrote and produced Rock Live, starring Charles Dutton. Now, he also later combined his writing and acting talents on Mad TV and is part of the prolific comedy lineup that's at this year's 16th Cape Town Comedy Festival, Mr. Orlando Jones. Great to have you here. Good morning. Thank you. Good to How be here. How are you? I'm, very, I'm, I'm doing the pirate thing. It's Casual Day. It, what's the connection, by the way, between Casual Day and Pirates? I didn't because know we, the, the theme, the theme of the day is gotcha. uh, get your sea legs. So in different ah, ways, you're getting sea legs. You I'm, can. This is my sea legs. These are your sea legs. This by is being awesome. Pirates. Thank you for that. I needed to know that information. Well That's done. Well exciting. done. Now I need to know how's the show been for you? I mean, uh, you got it's it's been a couple of days now since the third when yes. you when you yes. since you've been showing. Yeah, how's, the show's how's a blast. Been? It's yeah. a lot of fun, man. The audiences here are amazing, so it's really fun. Are they really? Yeah, you love really. them. Yeah, well, yeah. in the States, people are kind of, you know, leaning back, like, I'm not really sure this is funny. Yeah. You know, here people are leaning forward, like, this is awesome. So they're, you know, it's just, it's a different energy. It's yeah. really fun. And you love coming back to the country. Of course, yeah. It's my uh, fourth time here, I think. The fourth time. Tell me, what yeah. is it that you love so much about South Africa? I want to make people feel extra. I travel proud around. I think South Africa looks like the future. I really do. I think it's such an incredible mix of people from all different races and cultures. I think yeah. the world will look like this in 7,500 years. So I think it's always amazing to be here. I love that thought. I love that thought. Yeah. I, look, I looked at your, your resume. It is absolutely amazing. The amount of, of movies, of TV shows, scripts mm -hmm. you've written, things you've been involved in, absolutely amazing. I mean, there was Mad TV, which sure. I, I saw the skit that you did uh, <laughs> comparing, <laughs> I've, I've got to say this, racism to spam. Yes, racism <laughs> and spam are definitely correlated. I, I, I don't know, okay, we, we can't obviously talk about that right now. <laughs> but I mean, uh, tell me about your career. What is it that has, that has seen you move forward in, in success from, from different shows to different shows going forward? You know, I just try and have a good time, man. I think, uh, you know, the entertainment business is about having a good time, having fun. So I just try and do something interesting and take a blank slate and make something cool. That's How did it all start? Too. Uh, stupidity. That was it. Stupidity? Oh, that's a good yeah, yeah, way yeah. to start. That's how it started. Yeah. My parents were like, go to college, go to school, get an education. And I was like, no, I think I'll go to Hollywood. My mom was like, this boy has no sense whatsoever. And I, <laughs> I showed up in Hollywood, got lucky, got a job, and uh, I've been there ever since. Tell me, after having done so many movies and so many things in your career, does it, does it all kind of become a blur in your head? Or are there certain standouts that you think, wow, that moment was really cool, that film was really cool, working that person? No, no, no. I think most of them suck, if I'm being honest. I do. I do. If there's, I can't stand watching myself. It's, it's horrible. No it's way. It's horrible. Yes. And, and by the way, I've talked to 15 different people here who think I'm the little boy from Everybody Hates Chris. They actually think yeah. I'm on the show. He's I'm a grown man. Let's be very clear about that. It's <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Seriously, I got but mistook the other day uh, for being Wesley Snipes. That's my favorite of all. No time. way. I'm not joking. Now that would, would you regard that as a compliment or a, or a diss? I, I was so busy laughing I couldn't tell. He was like, "All day long I saw you. You are Wesley Snipes. Yes, you are the Daywalker. Oh my God, it is so good to see you." <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was awesome. I was like, you actually wow. also been been uh, mistook for Orlando Bloom because on that on that absolutely. very same. Without question, yeah, absolutely. I get it all the time actually. People just they walk up, you know, and ask me if I've been in Pirates of the Caribbean, which of course I have. It's <laughs> so exciting to talk. It's really lovely. It's really lovely, honestly. Now I want to talk about something rather contentious because I discovered it yesterday. Uh, sure. um, uh, We've had a recent spat of, let's say, celebrities tweeting inappropriate stuff and they sure. get lambasted in the media, right? Oh, of course, And yeah. so you had a similar thing happening to you. Well, yes, not so much by the media, but by the public. You tweeted after uh, the death of Muammar Gaddafi. Yes. You tweeted something about Sarah Palin, mm -hmm. right? I saying did. that, what, what did you say exactly? It was, she was the punchline to a joke. I, it was one of those things where there were all these kids dancing in the street when Gaddafi died. And I thought it was just weird. I was like, he's dead already. I mean, do you really have to dance in the street on the man's okay, grave? Okay, all right. So I flipped the channel and there are all these liberals complaining about various things, about liberal this, liberal that. And I said, um, Libyan rebels kill Gaddafi. If American liberals want any respect, they should stop listening to Aretha Franklin and kill Sarah Palin. Wow, <laughs> wow. So, uh, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, obviously, people took, took this really, really hard. They, they had it at you on, on that. It's, it's two ways of thought. Either some people thought it was hysterical, yeah. and some people thought that I was apparently advocating the death of Sarah Palin. I wasn't exactly sure how they got to that. <laughs> I was like, it seems obvious, a joke. Uh, yeah. Aretha Franklin and Sarah Palin in the same punchline, but people I thought were that really was crazy. upset about it. But when do things kind of borderline funny, not funny anymore? How do you distinguish between what's, what's funny and what's not funny, especially when it comes to stuff like that? I don't think you can. I mean, my theory is I don't give offense. That's not really the way it works. Mm -hmm. You take 
offense. That's that's the way it works. You don't include me in the decision making process. All right. I throw a joke in the air. You can either take offense or laugh or move on. So I actually think it's funny that people get so upset about jokes now. That's kind of weird to well, me. Well, thank you for being open enough to talk about it. Not at all. How, what can people expect from you when they come to watch you at this show? I'm going to go with laugh for 300. Yeah, I'm going to go with laugh. Laugh, okay. Yeah, I, All think, right. I think that's really kind of the, for me, the fun of the show. And the cast you're working with show. is amazing as well. I mean, Michael Winslow, amazing. We, we Michael's fan incredible. Of Louis Katz, I'm a big fan of, uh, of Michael's. I, you know, I've seen him since I was a kid. So uh, it's always fun to see him. He's hysterical. And, uh, you know, there's Laurel on the show. There's Lonely Love, who I'm sure people have seen on uh, the late night show on E! Um, yeah. Chelsea Handler. Uh, it's just a, an amazing cast of people, man. It's really funny, different kinds of comedy. You're going to see a uh, guitar guy from Jeff Dunham, who yes. also hosts yes. the show and opens it, who's hysterical. It's just an incredible lineup. It's a really fun night of comedy. I want to know, we've got a lot of actors, um, musicians, comedians, Trevor Noah, going yeah. to, to sure, America. Trevor Noah and David Cowell. Really, really doing it, really doing it big. What's the secret to, to cracking it in Hollywood? I don't know. I think there's always a mercurial mix of both luck and being in the right place at the right time and hopefully talent. But, you know, there, there are some people out there that are not particularly talented who are super famous. I did not say Kim Kardashian. Why are you judging me? Wow. I did not say that. She's wow. so talented. There are a lot of Kim Kardashian fans right now who are going to hit the Twitter buzz and they're going to... Unfortunately, I have to point out them that Kim is the sidekick. Her butt is the star. I don't make the rules. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> It's just true. I, well, how, how would you know? Have you been watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians? <laughs> Who doesn't? Oh my god, it's awesome. It's so much fun. <laughs> Don't you watch it? <laughs> it's so awesome. Like, I was watching yesterday and Chloe came on and, like, Omar said something, and I was like, whatever, Lamar. It was really fun. You have to watch it. It's so good. <laughs> it is so good. <laughs> Do you watch? No, I don't. You don't watch Keeper with the okay, Kardashians? I, okay, you, okay, I watched it Honestly, once. I don't even know you right now. <laughs> <laughs> you can see a whole lot more of that by being one of the lucky winners of so the tickets, weird. double tickets we're giving away to the Cape Town Comedy Festival. All you need to do is SMS the keyword win your name and city to 33728. And you can get to see the likes of Mr. Orlando Jones talking about keeping up with the Kardashians. How do you do that? It's so funny. What? Oh, how do you do that? Oh. Dude, oh my God, you're so crazy. Honestly, I love the right thing you're doing. That's so crazy. <laughs> Cool. It, wait a second, is that like a string from a bathrobe? Okay, not really fashion forward, that's all I'm saying. Ewan, please take this from me now. Okay. No, totally not fashion forward. And the no socks thing, not